right, what's up, y'all? Welcome back, everybody. What's good? You know, it's Rick and Steph. I'm Rick. That's nice. Steph. Or I'm Rick. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not switching things up around here. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of Movie Social. Today, we're talking about the Andy Seinberg movie. I guess he's not paying attention. Oh, it's called... I know what the movie is called. It's called Spring. But they don't know. We're trying to enlighten them. Let them know what it's called. I anyway, yes, to. Palm Springs. You know, Groundhog Day all over again. Yep, that's exactly what it was. But it was still good. It definitely had its funny moments. All right, but before we divulge into that, don't forget to subscribe and also give us a like, turn on those notifications, and comment below what you thought about the movie and what you thought about our review of it. Also, share it with your mom, your grandma, your yes. grandpa, your share granddaddy, with everybody. everybody, the neighbor, if the they dog, have YouTube the cat, or a Gmail account. They have YouTube. Then just share, share, and they can subscribe. Appreciate that in advance. Yep. So the more we grow, the more things we got in store for you guys, giveaways, and other things like that. Anyway, without further ado, Palm Springs. So, you know, you see how it started off? Kind of started off a little interesting, but it kind of started off a little dry at the same time. I'm not going to say it started off dry. Um, the first 10 minutes was interesting with the whole wedding uh, thing. And with them about the uh, shmang, <laughs> as me and Bonnie used to say, we about the shmang. On a rock, nonetheless. I mean, who has sex on a rock? I don't know. Listen, when you're drinking and you're horny... Do anything. He could have had it in the bathroom or something like that, but he should have just rolled up right next to his girlfriend. <laughs> just be like, hey, hey. That part was messed up and wild. Yeah. And now it really put in perspective what happened the first few minutes of how she couldn't get him the nut at all. Bruh. I'm like, wow. Like that whole scene right there. Then he started jerking off to her face and then she started complaining. Mm-hmm. Kill that man by man. Kill that man by But turned out he was uh, basically in there already for years. So, for those that have not watched it and are just watching the spoiler, basically with Palm Springs, Andy Seinberg stars as the main character who stuck along with another man yeah, time in time this, inside this timeless loop where they fall asleep or die, they end up in the same exact place again. And it's basically like in down close to the border or possibly in Mexico. Palm Springs, maybe. I know. I, I said it. Boy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically down there. Palm Springs. Hot as hell. One. And it's in November. But you can still see the heat glaring off of the property. You could, but yeah, I mean, it's it November, so that means that definitely tells you that's hot. But um, so long story short, just get right into right it. Boom, boom, bang. Um, he's stuck in this time in this time loop that he has been stuck in for years. All because he went through some caves that some opened cave, up yeah. to an earthquake. And the crazy part about it is, I really needed them to. They didn't divulge in it. Like if how it came about. No, not even how it came about. If you are keep looping. What's happening to everybody, everybody else? else? Yep. They didn't divulge into that. But... I mean, there's a bit that they, I wish they would have expanded on, but to me, they stuck with the base premise of focusing on two main characters and a slash third character. Yeah. For the most part. And this time... Was stuck in that and it, it, there were definitely some pretty funny parts. Okay. Like, one of the funniest parts to me was when they... When she was trying to kill herself, like she thought, oh, killing myself is just going to end this whole time of loop. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, okay, this is not going to work. I tried it. And he put his head on the uh, dashboard. Like, listen, you feel pain, but uh, we going. this is the way to end it, you know, a lot quicker than mm -hmm. ended up in the ICU. Mm -hmm. And wake up the next day, wake up perfectly fine. Uh -huh. I'm just glad they did not relive when they wake up 
the next day and redo everything over again from the very beginning because that would have got annoying quickly. Yeah, what they did was they would wake up, they would show them waking up and then like doing something different. Which is pretty cool. After like maybe once or twice. Yeah, but, which, which is ooh, pretty cool. That whole family of hers was messed up. Yeah, that family First as well. All, she really was messed up. Sleeping Facts. with your sister's fiance the, the night, night before the wedding. Yes, that is was that was like wild. Mm, mm, mm. That is why she probably wanted to, that. No, not just probably. Like, that is why she wanted. She to get wanted out to get out of that timeless loop. Mm -hmm. But he warned her. He told her, "Don't come in here. Don't come in here." What yeah. she do? Like most people, went in there anyway and got stuck in that loop with him. Yeah. But, man. At least the fact that she got in there actually kind of helped him eventually. Yeah, because she did what she should have been doing her whole life. Sticking to her brains. And not worrying about the guys as much. Which is ironic. Don't your parents always tell you that? They Don't do. focus on relationships. Focus on your life. They your do. Career. But, I mean, both go hand in hand to me. But, yeah. She wound up getting enough smarts to hopefully have gotten out of it. Or die. Yeah, because that's one of the parts I did not like was at the very end. After they blew themselves up, they showed them at somebody else's house in this pool. But they didn't basically say, did they live or die? I mean, you can draw your own conclusions. To me, it seemed like they, they got lived. stuck. They lived and got stuck back in the loop still. You feel that way? Yeah. I didn't feel that way. I feel like they got out simply because of this. And I want you to try to help. Tie, tie the night for you so you can see what I was saying. Well, remember I, after that, yes, I'm going. I'm not talking about the part after that though. But that that's a whole thing. So but they at were that point no. After that part, maybe no. This is why I feel it because again, when they were at that house, they said that he he's been living there, in, you know, in this time frame for years. So he knows that the people in this particular house is not coming. They're not coming back home on vacation today. After they blew themselves out or and to make sure that he was alive, those people came home. So that's when he said, oh, today must be, I think, November 9th or 8th or something like that. So that told, tells me, oh, their initial return was November 8th. They're finally there from their vacation on this day. So that's how Quite I feel. That's, that's what my take was. Oh, they blew themselves out and these people, are, they, they came back to the house, house uh, the next day. But the biggest hopeful confirmation was when the third member of the time loop went back to the uh, wedding and went and said he got the girl's uh, message and all and tried to talk to si Andy Seinberg, but he didn't know who he was. Yep. Or did he? And was pretending. See? See? There's the twist. No, like, I think I'm I, joking, but uh, <laughs> no, yeah, he basically uh, didn't know who he was, so that was a sign, hopefully, that it was that they truly were out the loop. I hope uh, if they did do a sequel, it's not some old bullshit where uh, nope, they still stuck in the loop. He was just pretending this whole time. That would be so funny. I would be pissed. I would cut the movie off right then and there and wouldn't watch it again. But all in all, it was, it, it was entertaining. It, was it a kept solid me. Movie. It kept me uh, guessing for a few things. It kept me wanting to see more. For those Bruh. that are going into this thinking it's pure comedy, no. It's some comedy. It's definitely some it's comedy. It's some comedy moments. The funniest comedy but part is when he It's was a rom-com to me. Yeah, the funniest comedy part was when he was talking about how many people he had sex with. Yeah. That was funny. Especially the old lady and all that. The, uh, the black guy that he met at the pool. Oh. Then he was like, your dad. She's like, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> they that was asked about did she uh, did he ever get her sister? No, I tried. I tried. <laughs> that was pretty funny, man. That, but that was pretty all funny. in all, yeah, it was great. I would say it was great. It was, it was solid. I mean, as far as a, a whole picture, yes, it was great for what it was meant to be—a rom com. Hmm. Okay, I guess. But as far as the scale of what I'd be putting this up there as one of the top moves of the year, no. No, I'd say it was solid. It was, it, was a, it was a great comedy. We need more comedies out here right now, given everything going on. We we lacking a lot. Facts. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time. Peace.